Hi, and welcome. I'm Terry Pace, and I'm happy to have you join me tonight. Um, I'm a holistic health coach, and um, I have had a lot of experiences over the last 10 years using essential oils for therapeutic outcomes. And I'm here to share a little bit of my knowledge and experiences in the hopes that it helps you, right? Tonight, we're going to explore the daily habits that you can do to conquer the blues naturally. I'll share some simple routines and maybe some of my favorite essential oils for improving mood. So before we get started, I just wanna start with well, what exactly is an essential oil? For people who don't have uh, an understanding of what they are, an essential oil is distilled from a plant, right? The different parts, the leaves, the flowers, the bark, the berries, the stems, um, as is the case with, let's say, citrus essential oils that comes from the rind of the fruit. An essential oil is a naturally occurring volatile aromatic compound, it's like nature's chemistry. And one of the things volatile is that it moves from a liquid to a gas very quickly, right? And so we have this ability for it to, you know, kind of impact us in a whole different way just by breathing it in, right? And that essential oil is a message carrying molecule, right? It is intelligent messaging for our cells. That essential oil is produced by the plant for three reasons. So the first reason is that it protects it from threats. It helps its communication ability, right? It's gonna attract pollinators and sometimes actually repel pests. And it helps it heal, right? And so those are the three reasons why we would wanna use an essential oil. Protection, healing, and improved communication. And remember, it's a messenger molecule, right? So we can use them aromatically, topically, or internally. But not all essential oils are created equal. And so I choose to use a certified pure therapeutic grade essential oil that isn't just rated that you're allowed to use it internally, that it's actually recommended many times to take them internally. When we're using a high quality essential oil like that, you can have amazing impact. Right within 22 seconds, we find those molecules influencing the brain. In two minutes, it can be found in the bloodstream and within 22 minutes, it's in every single cell of your body, right? Here's a blood sample, right? They took this blood sample. You can notice that the cells are kind of flat. It's an actual live blood sample. And so when you watch it, they're very uh, lethargic. They're kind of not moving around. They're clumped together. Right, this is the effect that free radical damage has on our blood. And what they did was they applied an essential oil to the bottom of this person's feet and then 30 seconds later took another blood sample. And this is what it looked like, right? A very dramatic difference. And in 30 seconds, right? And so we have amazing essential oil capacity for changing what's going on. And when we're talking about mood and emotion, that's really, that's really good news, right? So what actually causes us to feel kind of like we have blues, right? Um, so what I wanted to do is I'm going to take a quick poll about, you know, where you are in, in how you feel. So, so just rate yourself on a scale of one to five, you know, how often, five being the highest, how often, do you find yourself in a really good mood? Right, so just you know, click on the rating. Okay, we have two more people that need to vote. Welcome everyone, Cheryl and Eileen, Georgina, Peter. We have someone else. Okay, everyone vote. We have three of the four. Okay, so it's kind of mixed, right? So some days you have, uh, you have some good results and some days not so good, right? Um, so what actually causes this, right? And so 
there are lots of different experiences that maybe negatively impact our mood. And for sure, how we feel about ourselves, like our self-perception, weighs very heavily on us. And so, like one of the quickest ways to make me <laughs> feel not so happy is when I get on the scale, right? <laughs> Especially right now, right? What happened during our little stay at home time, right? We've been reaching for comfort foods, sugary snacks, kind of your out of your element in terms of, you know, shopping and what you're eating. And maybe you're just feeling a little pinch in your jeans, right? Extra inches on your waistline are making it uncomfortable, right? So, um, you know, but not just like our physical appearance, but how we feel about ourselves. Maybe we are in conflict in a relationship and that, you know, that always challenges us to be our highest self, right? To, to act with integrity with other people and maybe maybe we haven't and that changes how we feel about ourselves right it changes our mood right maybe there's just some emotional overwhelm going on um and you know <laughs> i have to bring a little uh, levity in here right like have you been a worker parent teacher these days right like i love <laughs> i love some of these little comments right like house rule you know like now that you're you know i'm a parent and a teacher right? Do you go to the refrigerator in school? Uh, no, so use your school stomach. <laughs> like this one made me really laugh. This is like the first or second day of homeschooling. Right? It's going really well. Two students are suspended for fighting and one teacher was fired for on the job drinking. So, um, right? But like there's things like change in general can overwhelm us. And in that emotional overwhelm, sometimes we don't have the same ability to to stay positive, right? Or maybe it's just really feeling like you're swimming upstream and that you lack hope that there's a solution to whatever it is that's, you know, really pulling on you, right? It's a very complex dynamic. Here's a quote from this book. This is a friend of mine, Becky Hinsey. Um, there are millions even billions of chemical reactions that are going on in your brain and your body all the time. Millions and billions that are going on all the time, right? And so, you know, these things that are going on constantly are responsible for your mood, for your perception. And it definitely influences how you experience life, right? And so, you know, when we look at, you know, like the balance of that neurochemistry, right? Any kind of chemical imbalance in our dopamine, our serotonin, our GABA, like any of those things can actually affect our mood, right? And, and I used to have a term, right? It's like my chemistry made me do it. Like I'm not a grouch today because I chose it, right? Like there's a, there's a chemical inside of me that's kind of choosing my mood for me. And, um, you know, the good news is that there's things that we can do. And so my time with you today, I really want to talk to you about some of the things we can do. One of the first things is I choose for it to be natural, right? And I want to tell you just a little story, right? Um, the mission is to, to bring back plant-based medicine, right? Hippocrates wrote way back, you know, like, you know, 460 BC, that the willow uh, bark from the willow tree was used as a pain reliever, right? And so that bark contains something called salicin, which is pain relieving, as is many of the tree chemistries, right? They just like discovered this and, you know, combined with, you know, an Oxford, uh, an Oxfordshire clergyman, a, a German manufacturer, and a noble prize winning discovery, right? We discovered that this particular chemistry, right? They converted it into a actual synthetic chemistry called aspirin. And, you know, the aspirin that we know came into being somewhere in the 1890s. And it was just an observation of in nature, this particular chemistry is pain relieving. And if I create it in a lab, I can have it whenever I want. And, um, you know, there's a, there's a drive that's happening there, right? You can't patent a plant. And so many of the uh, 
you know, chemists and pharmacists are looking at, well, I can make that chemistry over here, right? But, you know, the chemistry that's natural interacts with our body a whole different way. It has no side effects and um, actually has some side benefits. You use it for one thing and you get another benefit instead of some other detriment, right? And, you know, the founders of doTERRA, which is the uh, company that makes these amazing essential oils, right, they decided not to synthesize, adulterate, or dilute nature's chemistry, right? They choose to source essential oils in a way that provides a very reliable and therapeutic outcome, right? And that's what I enjoy, reliable therapeutic outcomes. So let's talk about how we can do that to impact our mood, right? And to help us conquer the blues, right? And so let's start with um, inside this book, right? The author brings us to the importance of proper nutrition, right? We have a biological predisposition to sugar and comfort foods, especially when we're having some issues. And, you know, there's an effective use of essential oils. Right, and so various essential oils not only support cellular communication and oxygenate the blood, but we also improve our neurochemistry by clearing off receptor sites in the brain to receive neurotransmitters, right? And so by supporting the production of neurotransmitters, essential oils make us feel happier. And like that is such good news. And so here is, a couple of the top um, uh, neurotransmitters. I just want to kind of tell you what they do and how we can help support them, right? And so here is serotonin. Now, serotonin is a neurotransmitter. It carries a signal along in between nerves. That's, that's what a neurotransmitter does. It just carries a signal between your nerves, right? Sometimes people consider serotonin to be a hormone, but you know it's commonly believed to be a neurotransmitter, right? And um, there is um, so, so it's the re it's responsible for your mood, right? You know it is definitely responsible for that perception of self. Now it cannot cross the blood-brain barrier, right? So if you're gonna use it in the brain, it has to be made inside the brain, right? You can't take a supplement, right? You can't, you can't take something that is outside the brain and push it into it, right? The brain has a very protective uh, barrier. And the good news is that essential oils are lipid soluble, right? They have a very light molecular weight and they can pass through this barrier and bring their effects directly into the brain. And so that's the first thing, is that it's gonna be way more effective than anything you could ever take because it actually can get where it needs to go to do the most good, okay? So one of the key things that serotonin does for us is it relaxes and soothes our body. It helps us regulate sleep, appetite, memory, learning, some of our uh, emotional activities, right? Um, uh, serotonin is mainly found in the brain, but it's also found in the bowels and in um, blood platelets, right? Um, it is definitely something that is responsible for the balance of our mood and a deficit of serotonin can actually lead to depression. And so how do we support healthy serotonin levels? Well, you know, grab one or all of these, right? Wild orange, lavender, marjoram, Roman chamomile, all are really good to help us support serotonin levels. Another neurotransmitter is dopamine, right? This is linked with the brain's very complex system of motivation and reward, right? It's present mainly in the brain, right? Whereas serotonin is found in the brain and both in the GI and the central nervous system, right? Um, dopamine is found only in animals, whereas serotonin is also found in like animals, plants, and fungi, right? But this is um, something where it's about that motivation and reward, 
right? And so it's used to control body movements. It is used for motivation, right? When you do this, I'll give you this good chemistry, right? It's about those pleasure-seeking behaviors, right? Appetite, like you, it has, appetite has to be fun. Otherwise, we wouldn't eat, <laughs> right? And so the same thing with learning, right? right? Your body is designed to learn. And so when you are, you, did you ever feel amazing after like learning something that really kind of you're like, wow, I, I like I've, I feel it. I, I'm a learner. That's one of my top strengths. And, um, you know, I can feel that surge inside of me, right? So um, one of the things that we know is that there's this dopamine release cycle, right? And so I'll give you the example of like eating sugar or fatty foods releases dopamine and it makes us feel happy and satisfied. When it runs out, the, the brain is triggered to say, hey, I want more of that. So go eat more of that. I really like that, <laughs> right? And so sometimes it can work against you if, if, you're attach, if you're attaching the rewards motivation benefit to something that isn't healthy for you. So what can we do about that? Well, we have clary, sage, and lavender that are amazing to help us balance dopamine. So the third one that I'm going to focus on tonight is called norepinephrine, right? It's about mobilizing the brain and getting the body ready for action, right? It's released directly into the bloodstream so that we can get the adrenal glands, right? This is where we, we our, our energy, our engine, right? And it's going to kick off our sympathetic nervous system, right? This is sympathetic, meaning that I'm going to respond to what's going on in my environment, right? Norepinephrine is, is very low while we're sleeping, and it starts to rise as we're in our wakefulness and it reaches really high levels when you're in danger or you have stress, right? It's part of that fight or flight response, right? Like when, when that, that bear is chasing you, you're like, oh my God, you know? So it gets the body ready to go and it's gonna increase the heart rate. It's gonna increase blood flow to the muscles. It's gonna provide you with that burst of energy, right? But, you know, that stress response is good in the moment that you need it. But what about later when you're trying to sleep, right? Like if you're stressed all day, right? And even though you might not actually have a bear chasing you, <laughs> you might feel like there's a bear chasing you, right? There might be a stressor in your life that continues to make cortisol and epinephrine and norepinephrine all come out, right? And so you have this chemistry in your blood that's like making it hard for you to go to sleep so what can we do well we can help them with you know some of these oils rosemary basil lemongrass help to balance norepinephrine right and so it's such a, a, a beautiful thing that you have a, an essential oil in your home at your fingertips that when you're feeling stressed you can just grab that oil and know that it's going to start right within 30 seconds to two minutes, it's going to start influencing the brain chemistry, right? So what happens when we have a long-term imbalance, right? And so a reduction of serotonin actually leads to clinical depression. Like diminished dopamine is sometimes related to ADD, ADHD, right? And when we have improper GABA activity, right, it can lead to chronic anxiety. And so GABA is a, is a, a neurotransmitter, it's, a, it's one of your stress hormones that modulates cortisol and norepinephrine, right? So like, you know, we have chemistry that makes us go and chemistry that makes us relax. And so we have the stuff that's going and it's constantly moving us, but we need to get in that rest and digest phase and the right amount of GABA helps us modulate, right? So like we push these stress hormones into our blood to help us get ready to go, but then we have to pull them back, right? When we're ready to calm it down, we need another chemistry that balances it. And that's what this is. And so what can we do about that? Well, look how simple it is, right? In a touch bottle, right? Just rub it on your wrists, on the back of your neck, breathe it in, right? Rose essential oil helps support healthy serotonin levels. Jasmine helps support 
healthy dopamine levels, and neroli helps support healthy GABA levels, right? And these are just flower oils, right? And we know all the flower oils are really good at calming our emotion and improving our mood, right? And so when we do these oils, you can see when we have the right chemistry, we do have these amazing feelings of love and happiness, right? And so it's a matter of just using the power of aroma, right? An essential oil, when we breathe it in, the first place it hits is the olfactory bulb, right? This is a place where like olfaction is the process of us uh, processing aromatic chemistry. And as we pull it in, the first place it goes is your limbic brain, right? This is the place that is part of that fight or flight response. Your limbic brain is responsible for memory, for mood, for emotion, right? And so I love using essential oils to quickly shift my brain chemistry and my mood, right? And so one of my favorite combinations is just a little peppermint and a little wild orange, right? Like it's just so good. Like peppermint helps me reduce that stress. It elevates my mood. It it brings oxygen, right? When you use peppermint, it opens your airways. And so whenever I can oxygenate my brain, I think more clearly, right? Like I'm bringing oxygen into the place that really needs to make a decision right now. And then the citrus oils are all just natural mood uplifters, right? Peel that orange and it sprays and all of a sudden you're happy. And you thought it was just because you're excited about eating the orange, but really there's chemistry in the rind that you're liberating from the orange, spraying it into the air and breathing it in. And instantaneously you just feel happier, right? So, you know, these two essential oils are like two of my favorites, right? Especially after lunch when I kind of get that like, you know, the food buzz and I don't want to do anything. And now I'm lethargic and I still have a lot more stuff to go on for the rest of the day. This is one of the things I grab. You know, there are lots of different essential oils. You can throw them in your diffuser, Serenity, Lang Lang, and my new favorite, Adaptive. And so I just want to talk for two minutes on Adaptive. So Adaptive is this unique formulation. It combines neurotransmitters, alkaloids, fatty acids, and essential oils in this capsule, right? The alkaloid's job is to sustain serotonin and to modulate the GABA. And by upregulating or downregulating these chemistries, we can change outcomes, right? We can change how we feel. We can change how we see the world. Do I see it as safe or not safe? Like when it's not safe, all those stress hormones come out. But when I feel safe, when I look at my environment and I don't have that uh, overwhelm or that fear, the chemistry is lowered and I make better decisions, right? When, we're, when we make decisions emotionally, it's usually not a very good decision, is it? Right? So um, when we use the capsule, right, which has, um, you know, all of these uh, neurotransmitters, alkaloids, fatty acids, and oils, it's a systemic pathway to help regulate and nourish the brain and the chemistry, right? When we use the blend, either in the touch form that we can roll on our body or the uh, undiluted form that we could put in the diffuser, it helps that limbic system response, right? Where we can have behavior, thought, and emotion being influenced positively, right? It's just an amazing thing. It's one of my favorites. It was only released in September and there's so many awesome testimonials that are coming out of people when they use this every day. So what else can we do? Well, you know, supplementation is critical, right? We need to nourish the cells and the tissues, right? That's the key, right? Like they need to be nourished and we have to create a terrain for wellness, right? Whether it's the proper diet or, you know, exercising, right? We know that exercising releases endorphins. And so you're gonna feel better about yourself when you get out and exercise, even if you just go take a walk for 15 or 20 minutes every day, right? Super powerful way to shift your mood. You know, getting the proper rest is important because, you know, we're a little crankier when we don't get a good night's sleep, right? <laughs> 
<laughs> um, and then, of course, when we have uh, a huge toxic load around us, right, many of the things, some of the products that we bring in our home, right, they're neurotoxins and they're hormone disruptors, right? Some of the candles you might be burning, some of the cleaning products that are underneath your kitchen sink, some of the plugins that you have, some of the sprays that you've been using, all of these accumulated over all the different products can increase your toxic load to the point where it is a neurotoxin. It is interfering in the natural release of the uh, neurotransmitters in your body. And so we do need to, to release our toxic load. And, you know, the bottom of the pyramid is about eating right. And so, you know, we know that the digestive system it houses part of your nervous system, right? It's called the enteric nervous system, right? And so it's in your esophagus, your stomach, your small intestine, and your colon. Nearly every brain controlling chemical is generated in the gut. Did you ever notice when someone doesn't eat so good, they're a little bit emotionally unstable or, you know, they have uh, high mood swings, right? Think of a teenager who maybe doesn't eat so well, right? Um, many of the hormones that we're just talking about, the serotonin, the dopamine, the GABA, right? The norepinephrine, they're all created in your digestive tract. So if you have a digestive issue, you are going to have a mood issue. You're going to have brain chemistry issues, right? The gut is home to almost 100 million neurons. That's more than the spinal cord has. Like, so you think your nervous system is all about your, your spinal cord? Well, that is an incorrect, uh, incorrect assumption, right? So um, this is huge for helping us control our mood and our emotions, right? And so we have an amazing way of supporting good nutrition and the proper brain chemistry, right? Supplements that are in the right format, meaning that they're bioavailable, you can absorb them, they're in the right balance, and they have these amazing, you know, brain chemistry balancing oils in them, right? You have nine essential oils that are powerful inside these capsules that you could take as your supplements every single day. And so, you know, I invite you to think about what would your life be like if you were able to conquer the blues just by having an essential oil at your fingertips or as part of your nutrition. How amazing is that vision? Right? So I have been doing these classes because I really uh, want to share. I want you to have an experience of the oils. And so if you ha don't yet have oils or have had an experience with them, I would love to send them to you, right? And so if you are interested, I'm going to actually run a, a poll, more information. So if you are interested, you can take down this information. I actually will put it in the chat, right? So if you click on that link, you can uh, fill out just how I can get a hold of you, and I would love to. Um, I would love to send you some samples so that you can have your own experience of the essential oils. Um, you can simply text me or email me. I'm on. Facebook, Instagram. I have a Vimeo channel with all of these, uh, you know, wonderful health topics and how simple it is to use a natural solution and have some amazing, reliable um, benefits, right? And so we're going to be doing classes um, every Monday at 6 p.m. and every Tuesday at 2 p.m. That's in addition to some of the other classes that I do each and every week. And so we have an intro to essential oils class that is uh, this, this coming Wednesday at 7 p.m. that um, I would love for you to come learn a little bit more about the basics. And everyone who comes that you know, hasn't yet had an experience is gonna get a free prize from me. And so um, I really invite you to, to get connected and um, you know, think of what your life would be like if you were able to conquer the blues naturally.